All right, so mowing it down is showing more damage than I expected. This spot was bad. But look at this shit up here. All right, so after I cut the yard yesterday, it exposed the brown that I was seeing underneath. And I was kind of walking around trying to find out exactly what all is going on, playing lawn investigator. And I found some fungus, but I found some other spots that I was really curious about. So I called my friend Jimmy at PPLM. So after this water test and a walk around the yard, we came to the conclusion that I had chinch bugs and sod webworm. Tom Doplas and Bafenthern. What's up guys? Welcome back. So, upon cutting the yard yesterday, which looks like crap. I had a bunch of areas really matted down and brown. And what I've discovered is I have fungus, chinch bugs, and sod webworm. So we're going to take care of that today. So I'm going at it with Telstar P, which has an active ingredient of bifenthrin. The sod webworm requires a half ounce of product per thousand square feet and the chinch bugs require one ounce per thousand square feet. So I went with the high rate. Be smarter than me though, and wear your gloves when you're mixing chemicals. You should make sure you wear your PPE. You got long sleeves, long pants, getting ready to put on rubber boots, and some gloves. As you can see, I finally got all my proper PPE on. Now I do still have fungus that I need to deal with, and bifenthrin will not take care of that. But I did order some azoxystrobin and some propiconazole, and they will be in this week, and I'll get that stuff down as well. As I stated earlier, I did a water bucket test to see if I had the chinch bugs and it's pretty simple. You just put the container in the ground, fill it up with water and the chinch bugs float to the top. As for the sod webworm, if you're walking through your yard and you see little moths flying up every step you take, good chance you have sod webworm too. Since I'm doing a broadcast app to the whole yard, I walked up and down like this, and then when I was done, 
I went the other direction, make a grid. That way, you know you get full coverage. On that second pass through, you could see all kinds of bugs and spiders making their way to the surface, trying to get away from it. All right, well, that's gonna about do it. Sorry if it's hard for to understand me. I'm trying to get used to this retainer. 40 years old, first time ever having to wear a retainer. So, but it's down. Bugs should be gone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. If you had sawed webworm or chinch bugs this year, let me know. Until next time, peace.